Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is King Z. Welcome back to the Empire. If this is your first time here, welcome in. I really hope you enjoy your stay. I really hope you enjoy today's episode. If you do, make sure to check out the rest of my channel and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. So for everybody that's been around for a while, you know that we have not been in this world for a, a very long time, a few months, in fact. I popped in here once or twice to check it out, and it's just been a while, and I really want to get back in here and start building again. I've had a lot of fun on the Afterlife server. I've had a lot of fun doing the tutorial builds, but I really want to get back in here and get back on the grind and try to create this this empire that we're building but with that being said there's a few things that we need to get done before we get back to the desert kingdom that we're building if you guys remember way back when, when we had the last episode we built our ender ender and we built ourselves a villager breeder we built ourselves an ender ender so that we could mend our tools and our gear a lot faster but i happened to die in that episode a few times in fact lost a lot of good gear i do have a new elytra on but it's almost dead already and i need to get some mending very fast so we built that villager breeder we have a lot of villagers that are already ready to be used in a villager trading hall. I'm hoping to get a mending villager right away and kind of set him up in a temporary villager trading hall. If I can get mending pretty quickly, then we can get back to the desert kingdom and start building there. I want to keep that going until at least episode 30 so we have a little bit of a foundation for that area. We kind of know where we're going. And then we can kind of branch out and do something new and or hang out there longer if we're feeling it or come back over here to the King's Valley area or like Chaos Castle area and kind of flesh out some of those areas. But I want to get that done at least today. Get the mending villager going. I also want to address some of the texture pack stuff that I've been kind of leaving undone because this world is actually still in 1.15.2 and if you're unaware 1.16.5 is already out and 1.17 is just around the corner I have not updated this world I've not updated this texture pack and playing over on the afterlife server I've been playing in vanilla texture pack for quite a while so there's a few textures that I want to change a few textures that I liked in this pack in the past but I don't specifically like anymore namely the andesite is the one I want to change uh, maybe some of the cobblestone a few other things that I want to tweak here and there that I've been meaning to tweak for a while but that'll probably be done off camera maybe like on a stream or something like that i was playing to stream some texture pack stuff villager trading hall is also probably gonna be something that i try to do off camera just because i want to get those guys going as fast as possible so we can get back over to the desert kingdom but i will hopefully show you guys a little snippet here and there of where the progress is at and me updating some of the tools that i have into mending and we can go to the ender ender and actually use it and utilize it and then hopefully once we got the mending villager we had the texture pack stuff updated and we're over there in the desert kingdom hopefully off camera i can update this world to 1.16 and then obviously with 1.17 coming around the corner i do have some other plans that i want to implement into this world but we'll talk about that stuff when it comes to it but with all that out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and get to work i'll see you guys once that's all done but welcome back to the empire everybody let's get building Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the little time lapse of me building out all this land here. I wasn't planning on doing this, but when I started to think about things and where I was going to place things, I don't really know how the land was going to look up here. I had a different idea, as you guys could tell. I had that little pillar, and then I had built out another little, uh, like, an angle here to, like, kind of map out where I wanted the, the hillside to go up to, and I've dropped it down dramatically. It's still a fairly big hillside for Minecraft, but it's not as steep as I was planning to have it, and I actually think it's a good thing. I can place a few more builds on here. I could possibly place some farmland up here as well, and we can get the facade for our villager trading hall in here a little bit easier as well. So that's kind of why I mapped this out. Now I have like a general idea of where I want to place things. So I'm thinking about placing the villager trading hall somewhere down here, mainly because I have a lot of room down there. I can kind of mine it out a little bit to create the bigger trading hall if need be. But I did in fact manage to grab a few villagers here and I did get the, the golden prize here. We do have mending, but it is 38 emeralds right now. I do have a couple of farming villagers that I'm trading with to get some diamonds. And I also got a fortune three and an efficiency four villager as well. I'll just 
just need to do a little bit more research on how to bring the prices down. I know I have to use a zombie to make one of these guys a zombie villager. Definitely will not be using the mending villager or probably any of the librarians. I'll probably be using this guy over here to create or maybe one of these farmers to create a zombie villager and then I'll bring them back from the dead. I also got to figure out how I'm going to make this so that all these other villagers can see me doing that so that I can get the price drop or the mending. Hopefully I can get it down as far as possible. If not, then I'll have to end up paying 38 diamonds or somewhere close to that. I'm hoping to get it down to like the lowest. I think it's like 11 emeralds is like the lowest you can go with these things. But that being said, I still need to do a little bit of work. So hopefully it won't take me nearly as long as all of this did. And this actually took me quite a few hours. This was like four hours of work right here with the villagers because I have no clue what I'm doing. But hopefully with a little bit more research and a little bit more time, I can get a full set of enchanted armor with mending on it and also a whole set of mending tools. So I'm going to get back on the villager trading grind. And hopefully when I come back here, we can start enchanting or buying some useful books. All right, so I have been very busy over here. I've been working on this thing all day, but you guys can see I have moved the little temporary villager trading hall that I had over to this area, like I said I was going to do. But I've also kind of made a more permanent temporary build here to house a lot of our villagers. I've also incorporated some farms around here. You can see I've expanded this little sugarcane farm. I've also expanded that one a little bit. I brought down some carrots, some potatoes, because we have been trading with these guys as much as possible. I have plenty of librarians, except for a few of these guys are just in their spots so when I pick out what they want to be like a weapon smith or a tool smith whatever it's going to be I still have the same farmers but I've been trading with them so much this guy's already a master so I think he's got the, the diamond little insignia there uh, this guy's a journeyman journeyman as well and then we have our librarians I haven't really used the efficiency guy at all I haven't used this mending dude at all prop four I got a prop four guy I'm breaking three for nine diamonds I've been trading with this guy a lot because he has a paper trade that's really uh, useful right now and then I've also got the fortune three which I have not been trading with but I was not satisfied with this guy here the mini guy that we had previously 38 emeralds that's a lot of emeralds to be using even if i'm gonna drop it down with like turning one of these guys into a zombie and turning them back into a villager so i can get that price drop but i wasn't happy with this so i found this guy he was at 14 emeralds he was actually just at 14 emeralds the last time i traded with him so he has dropped down to 11 now which is really nice but we have an 11 emerald mending book villager here which i have been trading with like crazy all of these is mending now so we have all these mending we still have eight emeralds left over uh, i still want to continue to trade with these guys but we've basically done all that i wanted to do here so we can take all of these mending books and i'm going to enchant everything that i have and we also have an unbreaking three so if i have anything that doesn't have unbreaking i can use that as well because that unbreaking trade is actually very nice as well what is it like 15 i said it was oh it's only nine so yeah we could almost buy that i think i actually have enough to use it with carrots right now if i were to trade with this guy yes i do so we'll just trade a few more there i still have one book left over place that in there and we'll get another unbreaking book just for the heck of it you know just in case we need it I still want a silk touch book, but I mean, that works out for us right now. So I went over to the, the iron farm area that we have not used and have not updated since the update, but we'll eventually get a new iron farm going here. But let's make an anvil here. Let us just place it any old place and let us start adding mending to all these. Uh, we probably want to upgrade this sword a little bit, but I'm definitely going to put mending on it right now just so I don't have to worry about it. That already has mending. We need mending on this axe here. We'll definitely want to upgrade that as well though. And then the shovel is actually pretty decent right now. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. But the main thing we want to upgrade is our armor here. So we have most of this we definitely want to upgrade as well, but we'll definitely stick some mending on here just for the sake of being able to repair everything that we have. And especially this guy right here, we have our unbreaking mending elytra now, which we can fly around. I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about walking around or getting around in a quick fashion for you guys. I can show you guys things from aerial views now, which is going to be really nice. So let's go ahead and stick all that on and let's head over to the ender ender and get this all mended and ready to go. And we're back. It's very, very nice to have some elytra once again, everybody. It's nice to have a bunch of mending on all my tools and all my gear, but it is super nice to have this elytra again to fly around and show you guys the area. But it's also nice to be back over here in the Desert Kingdom. Now, we've talked about the Desert Kingdom a ways back. Obviously, it's been months since I played in here, but I have been trying to figure out where I wanted to place the main part of the kingdom. I know that I want this to be like the main quarry of the Desert Kingdom, so we're going to have a lot more stuff scattered around the edge of the quarry. I was originally planning planning on having a pathway go up here, but I think I'm actually just going to dig most of this out over here. And the reason for that is I was flying around in the elytra like you do when you get brand new elytra and you're crazy about flying. I was circling around looking for a place to potentially place our actual city, like the main part of the kingdom. And over here, oh, we ran out of, <laughs> we ran out of rockets. That's bad news. But 
over here we have a few rivers here that i'll have to probably cover up we also are gonna have to drag a river all the way down here but there is a nice chunk of desert over here that is untouched and it is also near the ocean so I think we could place a very, very cool desert kingdom, or at least the main city of the desert kingdom over in this area. I'm seeing like a nice huge dock area, a massive palace in the middle here, and just tons and tons of city around this. I feel like the desert city is going to be hustling and bustling, and there's going to be a lot going on here. So I want to make it super, super big, honestly. I want to make it huge. I want to make all the main cities in the kingdoms to be very, very big. But this one in particular, I think we can make absolutely massive. I'm going to be covering covering up maybe some of the regular forest areas. I might leave some of the savanna areas uh, untouched. Uh, I might, you know, dot them here and there with desert stuff, but I think that'd be good like to have the oasis style around this area as well. But tons and tons of space over here. Uh, I just had this pillar to mark out the general area of where I want to maybe start the city or have the city center be. And if that is the city center and we have the docks all the way over there, that gives you kind of the scope of the build idea that I want to have because I want it to be massive. The quarry that we have over here is kind of a bit away. So I don't want to be too far, but I definitely don't want it to be too close either. We'll definitely dot the landscape around here with some builds some farms and stuff like that but we'll definitely have to drag a river all the way through here i want to have the river go through like the either the center of the city the like dead center of the city or i want to go through like the outskirts of the city like maybe it splits off into two directions and uh heads to the ocean and yes i'm eating rotten flesh because i have no food with me all right like i said we got big big plans for over there but for right now for this episode i want to tackle the actual quarry so i'm going to be doing a big massive dig here in a time lapse for you guys and then we could probably we get to adding some cranes a few more huts a few more living situations over here and kind of start decorating this place and making it look a little bit more like the rest of our kingdom does pretty detailed hopefully pretty beautiful so i'm probably gonna grab a beacon maybe enchant a few more tools and i'm gonna get started on this massive dig so hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse i'll see you when it's done All right, welcome back everybody. That was a huge dig, roughly six hours of dig time for this quarry here. And I really like how the outsides here with all the layering came out. I have an idea for this pillar, but I really don't like the shape of it right now. Kind of want to make it a little bit skinnier at the bottom. And I might even take this layer down a little bit just to kind of add a little bit of a slope in here. So it's not so flat, but I also want to add a bunch of scaffolding through here to make so like some wood scaffolding through to make it look cooler. And before I do that, I even want to add an entire layer layer of sand and sandstone in here to make it look all sandstony. <laughs> Is probably the best word I could use, but I don't want this to be gray. I want this to be like a sandstone color because we want to make it look like we're actually using the sandstone to build out our massive city over there and that we're getting it all from this quarry. But this thing is huge. We even have a ravine going through here. I might want to put like a little bit of a bridge going across here, maybe one over on this side. Like I said, some scaffolding going through. Lots of ideas, lots of plans for this build. So far, it's turning out great. I started out with like two pickaxes, had to make three more, and then I ended up breaking one of those pickaxes on that last little go about down there. I broke a pickaxe, which kind of sucks, but we have a a whole new villager trading system which is nice so hopefully we can replace that tool fairly easy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover all the gray stone with sandstone. So it's going to kind of lift up just a little bit, one block tall, not too much. And then I'm going to work on the design of this pillar, maybe the design of this little floor area as well. And then after that, we'll start building the actual detail parts. I was planning on putting a massive crane on this thing, but we'll see how it goes. I do want to dot some small cranes around on these other layers to make it look cool. Like I said, some of the scaffolding, some of the bridges. I'm super excited for how this is going to turn out. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump into the build.
right, so there is our quarry basically completed. Added a bunch of detail in here. We got the huge cranes, the small cranes, the medium sized cranes around here. Still want to add like maybe another medium sized crane over in this area, but I also want to place a dock over here. One thing I didn't show on camera was me kind of making this river a little bit wider here. Still want to make it a little bit wider in this section and then carry it on out that way. I'll probably end up covering up whatever this section is here. Um, I also added this little water section here, but I need to fix my texture pack a little bit. Um, or apparently not. I guess it works fine in Optifine, but not with the, the replay mod for some reason. So it looks fine now, but it looked horrible in the replay mod. Uh, I textured up this floorway a little bit off camera as well. Added some of the bushes and stuff like that to add a little life. Added those fence posts down there. Uh, broke up those textures over there as well. Added a few bits and bobs here for like storage or at least like looking like storage. I still want to add a lot more detail in here. And then I also added this little uh, storage area. Probably expand on this a little bit just so we have a, a little mini storage area over here as well. But it's coming out pretty good so far. I still have to figure out how I'm going to make this elevator type deal here. I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do that but we'll think of something. I just wanted a way for the workers to get down to the lower levels here. So I'm going to put a little bit of an elevator here. We'll end up like digging this section out here and putting another ramp right here to get up to a little bit of a little bit of a village up here and probably another like processing area and putting a bunch of carts up here possibly so they can drag them over to the riverside and then the medium sized crane can load up the ship that we're going to put over there and that could be taken all the way to the kingdom. So this is probably the most work I've done in an episode episode ever I think because I did this whole section here the quarry and then I forgot that I also did the uh the hillside over in Kings Valley and that was a whole bunch of hours of work as well plus I think it took me like six hours just for the dig probably another six hours for detailing just this six hours for the villagers, six hours for the hillside. So a whole lot of hours have gone into this episode so far. There'll probably be a few things I change up. I might make this a diagonal bridge because it's kind of plain, kind of boring here like this. And the one thing that really ruins my immersion down here is these freaking slimes keep spawning in. And it's fine when it's the little tiny guys, but when it's the big giant slimes in here, it just kills my immersion. So I don't know what I can really do about that. I messed with this mod. I guess it's not really a mod, it's a program. And we we're actually updated to 1.16.4. And the cool thing about that is I found this little program that deletes chunks for you. Uh, I'll probably have it linked in the description if any of you guys want to use it for your worlds. But I wanted to delete a lot of the chunks for this world so that when 1.17 comes out, because they have lowered the floor or the, yeah, they lowered the floor for the bedrock and they've lifted the build height. And I want to have as much of that in our world as possible. So I can basically delete any chunks I want so I can select certain chunks. Uh, maybe I can show you guys how to do that later on, or I can just have the link for the, uh, the video for you guys if you want to check it out but basically i can delete massive amounts of chunks and i accidentally deleted my my ender portal so i had to take the ender portal chunk from another save that i had a backup save and import it into this world so we're we're good again but it was kind of scary i was like oh no I messed up. But yeah, this episode's gone on for a very long time, guys. I want to get it out to you as soon as possible and start the next episode as soon as possible. So hopefully we'll be in this world a lot more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So remember, if you're brand new or haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this episode. Let me know what you think of the series. And I'll see you all next time here on King Z's Empire.